Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Borderlands 3. Uh, we are going to be doing a little bit of uh, cleanup work on Moe's, forgive me, uh, for uh, just basically half-assing that. I decided to just jump into it without really, you know, <laughs> 100 like, I, I read Flax skill tree, like, I'm not kidding. 15 times, I think I, oh, like, was saying 50. I was just exaggerating, but 15 times is still a lot, okay? <laughs> Um, anyways, so we're gonna do some tidy work on that, but then we're gonna move over to Zane, which I've also just read a ton about, uh, and essentially what we're doing in this series is we're just coming up with builds and or just giving skills more acknowledgement that I think have potential and or play into other skills. Uh, so that when you're building your builds, maybe you're like, oh, you've missed this, Grin, what if this plays with this and it amplifies that? Uh, you know, whatever. And again, this is all kind of anecdotal, anecdotal, <laughs> uh, because who knows what will really happen like for instance um certain weapons can alter a build entirely uh, like they're uh, like a build can magnetize three three things and just make it insane uh same thing with class mods class mods can maybe uh buff up a, a meh skill to be something godly uh that's also something to consider maybe there's a shield especially with zane uh there's a lot of like uh, things like that are that are in the equation of like are shields that overpowered in Borderlands? Are grenade mods that good? And how often does this skill actually get procced, you know? But, back to Moe's. Some quickly ti tidy up work for her. Uh, one of the things I didn't really mention, I don't think, or didn't do a good job of, um, is what my first playthroughs build, if I ever did play Moe's, would be. Yes, yes, the grenade slash explosive radius uh, skill tree. I, I'm in love <laughs> with this skill tree, just because I feel like it has a lot of things that play into itself in a very nice coherent way uh, but yeah it also gives you more th it, it's a skill that keeps you in iron bear constantly now whereas the other skills revolve around you per se uh, regenerating ammo which I don't want to scoff at like this seems in or sorry this one <laughs> this one has you regenerating ammo uh, this is great bottomless mag is what the skill tree is called of course it has you regenerating ammo but um, yeah I just wanted to point something out that I forgot about which is TDR and how amazing the regeneration of ammo can be but anyways i would go down this skill tree first uh, the reason why is because it gives you a like just there's base skills like this which is fuel drain which is allow you to uh fuel fuel in your iron bear is your duration of your skill tree of your skill activity so it's the duration of that skill so when it says fuel it just means how long you can use it and the reason why it says fuel is because certain weapons uh tank your fuel like they'll be like hey if you want to use this attack it'll take 30 percent of your fuel away that kind of thing Anyways, uh, well, we're going to decrease Iron Bear's cooldown. It sucks because this one is, it says it has diminishing returns, but it also says five seconds. So it's a flat five seconds, and even if it diminishes all down to one second, uh, that's still pretty good. Oh, wait, why? <laughs> why can't we see Iron Bear's cooldown? Uh-oh. Well, that's kind of shit. <laughs> uh, it doesn't tell us how long Iron Bear is up in general, so we can't- we don't know if that's enough of an increase or not. But anyways, next thing, <laughs> uh... Also, I always wanted to make it like an explosive TDR build, or not explosive TDR, explosive Torg build, and this really f uh, plays into it, so yeah. Anyways, dealing any splash damage allows Mo to regenerate ammo, also it's grenades, which is insane, so you can whip grenades on top of, uh, of having a- which it will increase your splash damage, so you're gonna be ha hopefully having a Torg weapon, as well as other splash damage weapons, as well as whipping grenades, which is also splash damage, as well as your- uh, we're gonna keep our Iron Bear up in a boat for a long time, he's gonna be using his explosive explosive uh, cavalry causing more splash damage so it doesn't even matter that this chance is 10 percent it's still insane <laughs> uh yeah like it I just the amount of it because it's not um kills uh zane is very much centered to being able to be good he has to get one kill first which is pretty tangible or have a skill but uh moe's is tied to just dealing damage specifically splash damage which i think is super super easy uh, i couldn't i don't think i think if you direct hit someone with a rocket it still will count as splash damage because a portion of the damage is like AOE. So you'll impact, that'll be damage, but then the AOE of that explosion will also damage that enemy unless you one-shot them. So don't one-shot, you'll be fine. <laughs> Anyways, uh, then we have this one, which is kind of cool. A 15% chance to double the radius of explosions. Now, I don't know if this is really worth five skill points because if, if a Torg explosion is like this like this big and it gets doubled, how, like it, it depends how big this explosion radius is in general. Because, uh, yeah, maybe the explosion radius only gets a little bit bigger, which would be only be a little bit more helpful, or we're going to be peppering the ground so much that it doesn't really come into play. 
Anyways, Iron Bear gets Ant Armor, which gives him better resistance, as well as more fuel so that we can use it longer. Awesome. Iron Bear's up and at him for a lot longer of a time um, after we exit him. So when we leave Iron Bear, he's still going to be up and at him. Now, this skill could backfire hard if he doesn't, if the cooldown does not start re regenerating when we leave Iron Bear. Otherwise, this is kind of a waste to me uh, because I would rather, I want to be in my mech firing like crazy because I feel like the autopilot will not be as aggressive as you will be holding down the triggers uh, going to town. Uh, this one I feel like is just kind of a weird one. It's uh, it, also the crit one. I just don't know. These are these are two skills that are so up in the air that I don't know how they'll be coming into effect. Um, so it's kind of weird for me even to use them. And skills like this where it says per enemy hit uh, with I think it's specifically a grenade, right? Yeah, with a thrown grenade, uh, we we have a chance to regenerate some health. There's I think better choices and again we're not even going to be focusing on health Moses is going to be uh, with my build at least we're going to be focusing on her shield as well so we're not even going to need any health anyways uh more capacity just because i need some points why not uh, the grenade thing is, is nice but we're going to be regenerating grenades and she doesn't have a lot of skills that are like if you have a grenade you become great uh you know <laughs> so i think i would just stick to torg weapons and stuff like that uh yeah it's nothing like buffs grenade damage by a crazy amount you know so it's kind of weird just to have a lot of grenades. Yeah, this one's pretty crazy. Uh, when Moe's deals splash damage, just splash damage, you don't need to kill anything. Uh, her action skill cooldown rate is briefly increased. Craziness, 25%. We don't know what that means. I really prefer when they say one second off your timer rather than the 25%. But anyways, and it doesn't say if this can be stacked. Like this is, is this 25% of every type of splash damage? Is this, is this on a cooldown? What's going on? <laughs> is, this, is this, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, questions <laughs> that we can't answer with that gameplay. When Moe's deals gun damage, uh, there's a chance for a secondary explosion centered on the target. So if you have a gun, say a machine gun, uh, and you just, you're just you lighting someone up really just a lot, um, it, it has a chance, a, what do you call it, 20% chance, but if you're using a machine gun, you're going to be fine, <laughs> um, to cause an explosion on that area. Uh, which is in, in, in crazy, especially considering we have this, which fires uh, a five-round burst, which is the one I chose. I'm not going to go through over over all of them, uh, but yeah, this one basically increases your reload speed on your, your thump thump gun, your noob tube launcher, as well as it fires in a five-round burst now, which is nutty, uh, layering the ground in a bunch of explosives. Good, good. And we could actually, ro this is something I didn't know, by the way, you could equip two things on your thing. So, yeah, so as you see, we were basically, we have two cannons or two missile launchers on our sides, and we can use the same skill if we want. So we could have, uh, like, two missile launchers just firing in five round bursts. That could be insane. We don't know. Again, it's hard to see what the damage numbers are <laughs> because we can't physically play with them. Like, maybe this doesn't do nearly enough damage to it be worth it, or maybe it does an insane amount of damage to be worth it. We gotta move along, guys. <laughs> Anyways, I like the salvo edition as well as... Uh, what do you call it? The idea of locking onto them sounds fantastic. Um, also, I like it not that way. I don't like. I don't. I don't want my my main attack to be on my left bumper. Anyways, <laughs> the Vanquish rocket maybe is good. It, honestly, th this may be the worst build for me because I don't know how satisfying uh, hitting an enemy with this is going to be. Um, and yeah. Also, maybe the direct. Maybe it's gonna be really satisfying, so I should have direct hit. Although we do, we're not trying to direct hit, we're trying to splash damage, so I wouldn't get that anyway. Anyways, so that's just where our damage is going to be, and it's also going to allow us to be an Iron Bear constantly. Cool. Uh, and then we, you guys know about this skill, basically. We're just buffing the shit out of our, our shields, and then we have this, which is actually kind of cool. Um, whenever we get a kill, we start... Uh... Oh wait, I didn't want this one. Oh no, I messed up. I wanted this one. <laughs> shit. Well... Net well, <laughs> I wouldn't have this one. I would have this one, I think. Anyways, your fire rate gets reduced. I don't want that. Yeah, w I wouldn't get that one. I just put, it in, put all those four points in here. Anyways, uh, I didn't want any of these. I didn't think they were good enough. Uh, I just wanted this one, which was the when your health is low enough, uh, you get uh, increased gun damage. Awesome. And then I also wanted one stack of this. This is, I was starting to run out, run, out of, run out of points. Jesus. So this is where I'm at. Um, and I got this one. I'm not sure if this would be as good considering we're mainly dealing splash damage. Th honestly, this is where I was like, okay, this is my first skill tree. Like, th this is the thing I'm going to be going down just because all of the abilities seem fun and good enough. And yeah. Um, also, they seem like you're, they're keeping you an Iron Bear a good bit of time. Um, and yeah. Anyways, that's build one. That's probably the build that I would first go with um, when running down the skill tree is just this one, this main skill tree. Demolition Woman. Awesome. 
Uh, anyways, so that's that's the one thing. What are you looking on time? Not great. Okay, <laughs> I spent too long talking. Uh, these are just other ideas I had. I thought they were fun and interesting. Also, one thing I didn't mention, and I kind of touched on it a little bit ago, but basically, Moe's, um, I believe, is going to be an incredibly strong character if you don't want to build her outside of her mech um, because of Bottomless Mag, uh, and specifically TD or weapons. Uh, so the idea is yes, Mo ha most has a lot of abilities that are selfishly tied to her mech, which is awesome for me if you want to have like an endless super basically. Uh, but if you don't want that, then bottomless mag is screaming for you. You get incendiary damage and all these things. You also get the chance of regenerating uh, ammunition just by holding the weapon. And there was another thing here that I think I had in the other skill tree, which is like if you get a headshot, you start regenerating ammunition, which is crazy. Uh, I think that was somewhere here. Uh, regardless, we have this here too. Yeah, regenerating ammunition when you deal splash damage. So maybe, again, Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, if you could just make a TDR build, <laughs> you would just by getting like all of the ammo regeneration abilities and a lot of the TDR ones. Uh, yeah, because a lot of the TDR ex at a base level when they're done, they explode. Um, and there's a lot of TDR weapons where you throw it and literally missiles come flying down dealing AOE damage, which would get you all of this stuff as well. Yeah, maybe I should do that. Anyways, <laughs> I, we don't have time today. I just thought I'd mention that. Also, uh, I thought this was interesting too. Uh, I never really th understood that what this meant, but basically, when you do wield the same action skill, you get a crazy amount of gun damage. So I was like, okay, I tried to build build for it. I got I, I reduced our fire rate for explosive rounds. You could definitely make a TDR build. Yeah, bottomless mag, and and the and the other one, the the noob tube launcher, could probably synchronize quite well. But you're just giving up so much survivability in this skill tree. Anyways, yeah, uh, dual wielding both of these could be great. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, I had one more. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, for Moe's, the one thing I thought would be equally as, as neat is if you were to build for melee. Now, this build entirely goes to shit if you, you your, your mech is like the slowest thing on the planet, which it might be. But it's bigger, so maybe you're, like the feet, like the stride it has is longer. Who knows? Uh, but I, I basically am dual wielding just like insane punches <laughs> so yeah again i equipped both of uh of the iron bear fist uh, and then there's this one which uh ooh, ooh wait no it reduces fuel drain right 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 so this is like a berserker mode and you could stay in your your mech longer especially with things like uh like there's certain uh, skill trees or uh, perks that i have that reduce your or increase your duration on your skill or being able to be an iron bear anyways uh, yeah, so that that's awesome. It does a bonus sh shock damage. Yeah, and you're just punching the shit out of things. I think this would look awesome with just two of these fucking fists punching the shit out of um, enemies. Um, also, we have uh, the, the shield regeneration thing for extra survivability. Also, I was already down that uh, that class. Anyway, also we have the dual wielding bonus uh, for this. Yeah, I hope it still counts for weapons. Hope your fists still count. Like those iron bear fists count as weapons. I think it does. Uh, yeah, and then we got a bunch of incendiary stuff just because uh, when you're outside of Iron Bear, when you're waiting for your cooldown to come back, you'll have all these things. Uh, yeah. yeah. Also, fire rate, when it, all critical damage, all this good stuff. Awesome. Fucking awesome. <laughs> uh, that, that's the bit. I just thought it'd be fun to make like kind of like a Krieg Berserker kind of mode. Um, and I, it's not perfect, but yeah. Anyways, Zane, baby. Sorry. <laughs> that was like... Just a lot of tidying up <laughs> we had to do, but we're back with Zane. Uh, Zane was a character I actually already covered, not thoroughly, which is the which is what we're kind of going to be doing right now. Uh, what I mean by that is beforehand, uh, a bunch of streamers got access to gameplay for, for uh, when Borderlands first came out, or Borderlands 3 trailers first came out and the gameplays were arriving. A bunch of streamers did one of these. Uh, they hovered over all the, the perks so that we could see what was going on, but we cannot see the potential that they have, meaning that you we did not get to see 5 out of 5 of what that would be. But now, we can! Uh, so again, Zane is crazy. Uh, yeah, I honestly think he, like the two characters, to me at least, that seem like they just scream insane damage is Zane and, and Flack. Um, and, and, and again, I think Flack is the thing that's weird. Um, is Sorry, Zane is obviously strong, just because if you look at his skills. But uh, Flack, I think, is strong because a lot of it's buffing up his pets, but you still have Flack that can deal damage and gain stacks. So that, I think, is where a lot of Flack's potential is going to be. Uh, and a lot of things that people aren't considering is the fact that I think your beasts are just going to be pretty great on average. And yeah, whereas Zane, it physically has to 
buff him specifically because his boss I think are just additives but anyways um again I'm not gonna be reading the names we're just gonna try to be I'm gonna be trying to throw the effects at you guys just so this doesn't take forever this is crazy your gun damage gets buffed per action skill you have out which is two and it's 20% so that's 40% gun damage in his first skill tree with both of his action skills out that's insane anyways more magazine size uh i probably wouldn't get this just because zane doesn't have a lot of regeneration ammo abilities so we can't really utilize tdor and i would just i don't know the point to that to having that also you need to reload so it's it's nice to be to reload anyways um action skill duration that's awesome 15 percent it's fantastic um also this is all revolving around his doppelganger which is also really strong anyways this this makes me kind of mad uh this is a kill skill whenever zane gets a kill uh his digiclone receives uh gun damage awesome you did you could stop there and he regains health for a few seconds eight is not a few seconds that's a long fucking time second thing um i gotta stop swearing by the way <laughs> sorry uh second thing is he gets almost three health per second for eight seconds the thing that bothers me is that Fl Flack has like four abilities tied to health regeneration and he, he gets like four, maybe three <laughs> uh, percent health regeneration per second, which can be buffed, sure, but that's fucked. <laughs> that's messed up, sorry. Uh, just because, again, yeah, you just get one kill and you start regenerating health and he has an ability that gives his act all and he has an end tier ability that gives him all of his kill skills spoiler alert anyways this is also something that i feel like you'll just have to get with any build but it's uh oh no not this one this is yeah no then never mind <laughs> sorry getting a little ahead of myself zane's digi clone when you spawn him will throw a grenade and when he's killed uh he drops a free grenade which is awesome meaning you don't have to waste your grenades uh, so whenever he dies, he will always drop one, but I think when you summon him, there's a chance that he takes one from you and throws it out, which is a thing. Also, just a little side thing here, killing an enemy while Digiclone is active has a chance of throwing a grenade. Now, the question that this is, is does that take from your pool of grenades? Because if that is the case, then that may be less good. You may, may want to hold off getting that right at the cuff. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we'll just won't, we won't have a grenade. Well, you won't have grenades anyway because you're going to be using two skills. Right. Uh, sorry, this one's kind of good, but it's one of those perks. I think you just put one point into the first shot fired Very important from Zane's gun has a chance of firing a grenade uh, This skill has a short cooldown Co cooldown is eight seconds. The chance of this happening is 20% uh, Now again, this would seem really strong if it wasn't the first shot fired now Are there some weapons maybe that are like a shotgun that like a Jacobs that fires its entire magazine and then you reload fast? Sure, then this could be really really strong although it is on an eight second cooldown, but still again Totally worth just chucking one point in here just to get like the 5% chance that it is to get this. Uh, this is probably one I wouldn't really get, but it's one point, so maybe I would. Uh, when you switch places with your doppelganger, you immediately start re regenerating your shield. Uh, but I think when you change places with your doppelganger, it halves the cooldown or something. So it makes it last less, which I wouldn't want because we're building for damage, basically. Uh, we're not building. I'm just kind of going through the skills. But anyways, skill skill. After killing an enemy, uh, Zane gets uh, grenade regeneration. This is insane uh, because it doesn't specify like a chance to get one grenade. It's just it's just going. It's just going. <laughs> so for eight seconds, you're regenerating grenades. All you need to get is one kill. Every time you activate this kill skill, you have a chance of throwing out a grenade your doppelganger has at least, a 30% chance it looks, uh, and you're gener generating a ton of grenades. You could totally make a very solid grenade build with Zane, which is awesome, as well as coupling it with a, with a uh, kill skill grenade thing as well. Uh, yeah, Zane is one of those characters where I think when you get when the, when like the level cap gets increased he's gonna become ungodly stupid like just ridiculously powerful uh anyways if your clone's up you can trade places with him when you're in fight for your life and uh just live cool but he'll die of course uh sacrifice and all that whenever one of zane's action skills are activated he gains movement speed increase now this is something to note because um in this skill tree that a lot of these play with uh when you move faster you get an, a damage buff so yeah again zane is one of those characters where i th again i think <laughs> it's gonna be pretty insane based on that just like when you're moving quickly you're gonna be eviscerating the world because there's a lot of these hidden skills here that just happen to buff movement speed and the like uh and yeah also that's 22 movement speed or 24 sorry 24 movement speed at the cuff uh because you're gonna be using both of your action skills or at least i would hope you would do that uh, Zane has a digi clone gains a chance to ignore bullets. Uh, this one is such a low chance uh, that I don't think it's worth it But yeah, you have a chance of uh, ignoring 
uh, bullets. When Digiclone is active and when you activate other action skills, anywho, whenever Zane summons Digiclone, this is sick, um, it consumes up to three grenades. For every grenade consumed, the Digiclone, uh, <laughs> the Digiclone gains increased gun damage, max health, fire rate, reload speed, and Digiclone duration. So not only does the Digiclone, Digiclone duration get another flat 25 uh, seconds per grenade, Okay, that's insane. Uh, anyways, it also gets reload speed. Um, oh my god. I didn't even know it was this. 31 per grenade reload speed. And 5 per grenade. That's not bad. 15 uh, fire rate, which is not bad. Uh, and it gets a crazy amount of uh, health. And uh, gun damage. Oh my god, it gets a fuck ton of gun damage. Holy shit. Anyways, that, that's the where like the clone becomes like way better than Zane at that point. Uh, but also, it costs a fair bit of money, but you're also regenerating grenades whenever you get one measly kill. That's insane. Anyways, uh, uh, some shock damage. I don't care about that one, but yeah, bonus shock damage. Uh, this one's kind of great. The clone is equipped with Zane's current equipped weapon. Swapping places with the clone causes Zane's clone to gain increased gun damage. Oh, I didn't know that part. Okay, neat. Neat, but I think it does take down durability. But then again, if he's if he's already up for such a long time, I think you're fine. But uh, again, it doesn't. It just says current weapons, so you could equip. What do you call it? A goddamn rocket launcher. Change places with Zane, and he'll just be firing away. But does he does he take from your ammo pool? Because that would be less good. This is also just lovely. Whenever your clone takes damage in general, uh, it will start regenerating your shield. Uh, also, it says shield restores 100% of Digi Clone's damage. Yeah. That's, that's ridiculous. Anyways, and he's gonna have so much ridiculous health with this, yeah. Anyways, I also chose this one, which is, when Zane's action skill ends, the clone explodes dealing splash damage to all nearby enemies. Uh, the more action skill time, the more damage you deal, and that, of course, will scale up that damage number. Uh, there was this one, which seems interesting, which is shared damage, so when we take damage, our clone takes m almost all of it, <laughs> so I don't know. It depends how tanky he really becomes. Uh, I think it's a lot. <laughs> Anyways, enemies are... You can, like, rattle enemies when you're switching places. Again, I just... I, I, th I think when you change places with your clone, it just takes away a ton of the durability. Uh, I think? Although I'm not 100% on that. Oh, also, uh, I should jump back over here. I did spend the extra skill points with some movement speed, uh, some awesome lifesteal, uh, as well as this one, which is awesome. Because I wanted to have two action skills, I want this as well. Uh, and also, we're generating am our grenade, so this is fine. Also, it's a free grenade. Anyways, we'll read this in a minute. Sentinel will occasionally drop a free grenade. Uh, that's just awesome. So on a 15 second cooldown, I don't need to say anymore. <laughs> that's just awesome. Uh, but that's where I would spend those extra points. Uh, but let's go down this skill tree. And again, I, I spent all of the points I could in this skill tree just to show you guys what we're what we're dealing with. What are what are the max potential for? Uh, the guy, Zane. Okay, so the Hitman skill tree is all about buffing Zane and his Sentinel, but mostly Zane. Um, and specifically is all about kill skills. Uh, so anyways, we get this one, which is awesome. I was telling you guys about it. When we get a kill, we get some movement speed. Awesome. Uh, for eight seconds. That's a good bit of time. And then we have this, which synchronizes really well with that. But it says, uh, violent uh, momentum, or I think that's a... It's a reference to to the guy with the stash and the glasses, and he's just a lot. <laughs> but I like him. Doctor Disrespect, that's his name. Um, but it says uh, Zane's damage dealt is increased while moving. The quicker he is moving, the greater the damage uh, bonus. Uh, so 20% at default default walking speed. So that's just on general a 20% buff to to mo uh, movement. But if you're sprinting and like jumping in the air and shit, you're gonna be dealing so much crazy damage. That is great, um, especially with all the other like side abilities that increase your movement speed. Although this is kind of like a nice setup, but it's unless you're really, you're gonna have to get really comfortable at tracing and moving and shooting, which I don't think is that hard, but it's still something that is a requirement that other builds don't ask you to do. This one synergizes within itself, but it's I don't know about it. Zane gains weapon uh, swap speed who cares but the next shot fired after swapping does bonus cryo damage now it weirds me out when it says bonus cryo damage is that just like whatever damage you're dealing you also have a chance of making that damage cryo or is this just increase the chance of you doing cryo damage with a cryo weapon I don't know, probably not that, because everything seems powerful and that would seem pretty weak. Anyways, Zane increased reload speed. 
when he gets a kill, he gets more reload speed. Just neat. I'm not sure if I would get that. The awesome perk that we'd mentioned, uh, Sentinel, your little drone, will occasionally drop free grenades, which is based on the grenade mod you have at the time. This is crazy. It's a kill still that lasts for eight seconds. Um, and it says, after killing an enemy, Zane's weapon gain life steal for a few seconds. And it lasts, or sorry, and it's 10% of the damage you deal. That's good, man. That's real good. <laughs> That's really, really good. Well, let's hope that things don't scale as poorly in Borderlands 3 as they did in Borderlands 2 in the pre-sequel, <laughs> where, like, the, you just did so much damage that was more than your base health that 10% would be basically your entire health bar, unless you were playing Krieg, who was, like, a freak who was able to get all the health. And this is similar to one of Flag's skills, kinda. Um, all of Zane's kill skills gain increased effect and duration. I still don't know what effect means, but duration is awesome. An extra 7 seconds, which is great, because most of these last 8, which is already a lot. Um, but the effect bonus, so does that just mean I move faster, and I reload quicker, and all of these things? Huh, and I gain more health? Jesus Christ, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Another kill skill, because of course, uh, after Zane gets a kill, he gets an increase to fire rate. That's also a 20% chance of increasing that fire rate. Also, that is getting buffed by this, so that's, that's a little bit more. Uh, and then there's this. This is kind of like Two Fang with, with uh, Flak himself. Kill skill. After killing an enemy, Zane's next five shots all have a chance of firing an additional bullet. Yeah, now this, this is kind of just like a thing where... I don't know, man. It's like if you, depending on the magazine that you have, this could really work for you, uh, which is why I probably wouldn't get that one thing that buffs your magazine in the other skill tree. Another kill skill. Killing an enemy increases Zane's action skill duration. This has diminishing returns, uh, but even still, if this is like 1%, that's still not the worst, <laughs> especially considering both of these will feed into itself. What I mean by that is our clone is going to be killing things as well as our, our guy. So I don't, like, this is just going to be nutty. Uh, but anyways, the final skill is really strong. It's um, activating your action skill automatically activates all of your kill skills. Now, this one's weird because I think I'd be the person that just throws out both of my, my people as soon as possible. Maybe the best thing is is to throw your... your uh, one of your class abilities out and then wait for like maybe was it 12 seconds and pop it again maybe that'll work out i don't know also i would want my sentinel to be cryo because that's just awesome but it also does reduce his damage and i would also want him to weaken enemies but buffing myself which increases my movement speed and fire rate so yes <laughs> that is what i would like and again like things like this where they talk they talk about movement speed there's also some stuff in the shield stuff which is where are you? It's like, yeah, 10% movement speed when you walk through your shield. All that could add up to some nutty damage just playing off of a single skill, which is violent momentum. Moving on to Zane's uh, other skill tree, which is the shield one. Boom, bam, baby, which is undercover. It's just a shield. Honestly, this one is is only good if you're playing with people. Not, not true in the slightest, sorry. Uh, this action skill is, well, it's probably still good even if you don't want to do that. Sorry. <laughs> just... Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, you deploy a barrier, you can shoot through and get some gun damage. Neat. Yeah. Uh, adrenaline. Uh, Zane gains increased action cooldown rate. Um, it doesn't say it has diminishing returns, it's just a flat amount. Although I do, again, appreciate when they say that this is like 13... How much is this? Is what I'm getting at. Like, I don't even know what is... What is 3% of that. Like, I did the math there, I just have no effort. I don't want to do it. Anyways, you just get some more shield on a flat amount. Again, just amazing. Zane's easy to understand what his skills do but it, it it's not easy to understand how they'll play exactly into each other anyways improve recharge rate and delay awesome you'll get be regenerating your shield constantly this one's pretty awesome whenever zane scores a critical hit uh there's a chance to slow the enemy this effect stacks on top of being frozen so if enemies are having a, a harder time slowing down or becoming icicles you can shoot them with a critical hit and slow the rest down this one's kind of good too damage resistance against uh that type of damage which is weird so if you're getting shot with a, a, a bullet consistently uh, then you're going to be getting more buffs or at least 16 percent resistance but uh if someone shoots a fireball at you then that swaps and changes so you, yeah if you're in like a if you're surrounded probably less good <laughs> but if you're one-on-one -on -one with a single enemy probably pretty good zane gains health regeneration uh, the lower his shield is the higher the bonus eh, i'm not sure that's entirely necessary because of old because other things also because of there being skills like this which are like 
Why isn't it shifting? There we go. Uh, just like leeching off health off people. Well, Zane's shields are active. He gets increased gun damage and accuracy. The bonus is based off of the shield he has. The more percent full, the greater the bonus. Awesome. Reduces elemental effects status on Zane. I could care less. Another kill skill. Uh, ki whenever Zane kills an enemy, they create a cryo nova dealing damage to all nearby enemies. This skill has a short cooldown of three seconds. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like this one is probably just better just having your sentry just like laser beam things is pretty top notch oh shit i did i that's i, I messed up <laughs> uh we went over this skill tree but i didn't go over your sentry or really other abilities that are worth mentioning uh so for the sentinel uh your little drone thing uh this is kind of cool it, it the only reason why i'm worried about this one is because it says it fires rocket pods uh which wilhelms did too in in the pre-sequel but the problem with Wilhelm's is not only that his his drone flew around constantly, like it was like a plane that had to keep moving, whereas this one I believe is just a stationary little thing. But the problem with his thing was that it it would stop firing normal bullets, I think, while it was firing rockets. But if it does it on top of that, then this may be good. I don't know. This is kind of up in the air. But what is really good is this, which is uh, Sentinel fires a missile barrage in an area. If an enemy is killed in the area, Sentinel duration is reset. But if you don't, then it's done. So you no longer have access uh, to this ability. This is entirely, this is great, and I'd probably choose this one if I knew the damage and how quickly people die from it. Uh, because otherwise, this goes shit really fast, and just weakening enemies and increasing your fire rate sounds amazing. Whereas this one, it's a bit weird because I don't know how much it does. Like, is this one of those things where it only kills, like, low, low tier enemies? And I'm not gonna get it, because uh, it's not gonna be able to tear anything down. Or is it one of those things where I should like weaken the shit out of an enemy and then command him to, to attack that area? Also, the biggest concern with this is how quickly does your sentinel fire in that location? Uh, so yeah, are, are you going to like tell your sentinel to do this barrage right there and then an enemy is just going to sidestep or chase your ass and then miss and then you're without this ability? Uh, or you've essentially wasted this ability. Not great. Anyways, you're resistant against elements. You kill something, you get more resistance, whatever. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm sure they're great, and this is like end game shit where you're gonna need resistances and all these things, but right now I just want some damage and health regeneration, which is perfect because that's what this one is. <laughs> uh, whenever Zane deals frozen, whenever Zane deals damage to a frozen enemy, he gains 24% of that health back as, as you know, what do you call it? Uh, health. Or damage ballot back by health. I fucked up. But yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway. Oh, and then there's this one, which is just a lot. This is like six skills in one thing. And it's one skill point. Whenever Zane freezes an enemy, he sh his shields immediately start uh, regenerating. Which is crazy, considering, again, there's things like this, where your sentry will just be out and about fucking shit up. Craziness. Um, but if it doesn't do that, if Zane's shields are already full, it will start regaining your health. Okay. Shit. Um, if Zane's health is already full, his action skill cooldown are immediately reset. That that can't mean what it says. <laughs> I didn't really click with my head with that. If your health is already full, his action skill cooldown and duration are immediately reset. And you're already staying in your little nest. So you're already probably going to be having max shields. And we're already building ourselves to regenerate our shields consistently and gain a ton of health. So, okay. Yeah, that's messed up. <laughs> also, you gain three health per second, which is stacking on top of that other thing we have. Oh, no, that was in the other skill tree. Never mind. <laughs> it's, it's like one of these or something. Is it this skill tree? Yeah, this one right here, where it's like you regenerate health after you get a kill. But even still, what in the hell? Yeah, this has really strong end tier abilities, like just this and this and this. Christ. Anyways, uh, accuracy and handling stacks up to 15 times. I mean, I'm sure it's good, but... I don't know, I fuck, fuck off. <laughs> and then there's this ability, which is also amazing. Again, Zane has strong end tier abilities, but it's uh, Zane basically gives his shield to his allies. Your barrier itself gains the effects of that shield. So if it starts doing a Nova, if you have an app shield, if you have a shield that gives you some sort of weird niche thing, it will give that to you on top of your shield, of you having that shield as well. Okay, that's what it is as well. Yeah, if, if your allies are close to you, they get the benefit of your shield as well. Which I'm not sure how that looks like. If it's just like another bar on top of your shield. And it's like, hey, by the way, <laughs> when you're near your friend, you get this, all these effects, which would be amazing. Oh, okay. Now that'd probably be, no, what if it worked like that? What if you had an amp shield and then you gained, 
Well, is it just your effects? So if you have like a Nova, it'll get the, it'll get the Nova. But what happens if you have an Ab Shield? Okay, yeah, no, it says effects, not not like you get another shield, right? I don't know. Regardless, I'm that's that's has so many questions tied to it. <laughs> yeah, because I was thinking if if you get like your shield and you have another shield on top of it, what if uh, what if you had an Amp Shield and you could just keep using that Amp or, until they break the, your friend's shield and yours, or whatever the other one is like health regeneration. Um, if you had, like, your friend had, like, a, a thing where it's the lower the shield is, the higher the health generation the shield gives you, um, and you had something else, like, or you have the same thing, uh, and that, that's just giving you an insane amount of health regeneration, you know? I don't know. It's things like that that could stack in weird ways, which is what I love about the, the builds that exist or the skill trees that exist in Borderlands 3 is that there's so many questions to what things do, and then there's other questions that are, that are specifically made to have a thousand answers like this skill. Uh, which is like, okay, well, how would this shield react in this instance? How overpowered and broken would that be? Oh, what about this? And what about that? And oh, blah, blah, blah. and you just start bulldozing, which is just a ton of fun. Uh, but honestly, the, the skill trees that look the most alluring to me is, is weirdly, and it wasn't like this beforehand, but it's decoy. This ability right here, the fact that you can amplify uh, your, your uh, clone just to be that insanely strong is crazy, uh, to me at least. Um, like that was one of the first things we looked into yeah right is, is messing with the clone skill tree and I just again I just threw every perk I could here there's a couple skills that I wouldn't want uh, like what is it real a magazine size I could care less there was also some other things like you get more movement speed and action skill stuff I think I'd rather build for some shield stuff the, rather than the whole movement speed kill skill thing yeah I don't know about that though I feel like Zane is entirely based on his kill skills but yeah I, I cannot see a build that I'm using that isn't making use of cryo damage and this skill tree now, just because of how insane it seems your your clone can become. The only thing that sucks is your clone is stationary. Uh, well, no, maybe. Well, I guess you could do that, too. Yeah, you could move the placement of your clone <laughs> by, like, running ahead and then teleporting back to your old self and then running forward to your clone again. So I guess that could work. Huh. I just do think it takes away uh, duration every time you swap places. If you don't, then never mind. Then this problem is non-existent. But why, how, bro how broken would that be? You just bouncing in between things, <laughs> just going to and from. Like, how would an enemy ever shoot you? You know. Anyways, uh, regardless, ladies and gentlemen, that is kind of it. Um, again, uh, the first skill tree I'll be going down is well, I'll be snagging uh, the drone just because I want the drone, and I might even try to get this first, like these two skill trees, uh, just because I feel like this would just be a good bit of damage off the cuff, 200 damage just for default walking speed. That's insane. Um, and then there's this, which is just vamp vampire, which would give me health regeneration, and my drone will start throwing grenades, and it'll start firing cryo. That's just great. But then I'd probably hard jump over here and get all these other things, like, uh, action skill duration gets increased. That's awesome. This is also crazy. Yeah, we're getting 40% of damage in, like, the first couple levels, but it's, uh, 40% damage increase while you have both of your action skills up. Also, this one seems stupid. Whenever a clone takes damage, uh, Zane's shield is restored by the portion of that damage. That's crazy. <laughs> That's like insane. 100% of that damage dealt as well. What? <laughs> it's not on a cooldown? This is stupid. <laughs> That's the most broken thing. Then again, it depends on whether the AI is incentivized to shoot your allies or your, your, your clone. Uh, then again, I think if you get this, it won't matter. They'll have to shoot your clone. Also, you can regenerate grenades. How fun is that? Just whipping grenades like crazy. Anyways, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Again, Zane is insane. Uh, incredibly, incredibly powerful. Sorry. Uh, who is the next character we have? We have Amara. I think we might have done all of them at this point. Yeah, the next person is Amara, which, of course, I left last because she is the one that I am the most disappointed by, but is also the one that I never got to look at her skills fully maxed out. Out, which again I'm just gonna be doing this and then we're gonna be reviewing them the same we did in this video and then trying to speculate what would be overpoweredly strong and or good also did I fuck up and not I think I did I messed up yep I did uh, okay so there's also these ones these are the things that I think are notable but you get movement speed uh, when you walk through the shield and the reason why I think that's notable is because that plays off of uh, the rabbit G when you go fast you deal more damage uh, as well as things like this where you get movement speed and there's I think something else right here where you get more movement speed so There may be builds entirely based on you just getting absurd movement speed and then having that one skill just explode 
Uh, and yeah, and then there's this one which is also nice. Uh, Zane and his allies regenerate health, get reload speed, um, and improve shield recharge delay, uh, which will help because we're going to be buffing our shields or giving our shields to our allies. Uh, just whenever they're near the barrier, which is awesome. It's not even in the barrier, it's just near them. Uh, so that just seems insanely a good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're going to be covering Amara next time. Oh, but the reason why I didn't want to play Amara is because I was super excited for us to have like a Krieg like melee berserker. Uh, like a kind of like a brick 2.0. Um, and the fact that she was a siren was awesome. And the fact that she had like a mountain of fists just to punch the shit out of, out of people, I was jazzed. But all of her abilities are one and done abilities. They're not like consistent melee combat kind of things. And all the abilities kind of seem weird. But again, who knows? We're going to be going through it. Maybe I'm like, oh shit, I was wrong. Or, um, you know, she's not my cup of tea. But if, if I were to play her, I'd build her this way. Or maybe I'm, I eat my entire words and I'm like, okay, I can see how this could be incred incredibly fun. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, appreciate you for your time. Thank you so much uh, for just hearing me out and honestly just walking with me through this journey of me just really enjoying <laughs> just the wait and excitement for Borderlands. Uh, well, actually, I'm not enjoying the wait. I'm enjoying the things we're doing in the midst of the wait. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for your time. Subscribe button above me as well as two videos to my right. Appreciate you and goodbye. <laughs>